20 years later. Yes. Uh, could you ever imagine that you, you'd be back for Independence Day, the this, this sequel? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. <laughs> I, it wasn't the weirdest thing in the world. Yeah, they've been talking. You know, I've been in touch with, not to brag, but uh, you know, I, you know, I, I've been in touch with that Roland Emmerich and Dean Devlin. You know, they're, they're nice fellas. And in the ensuing 20 years, they've, they've, I think, will tell been talking you for a while. when you talk to them. And I think they've, they've already said that they've been, uh, and I think the truth of it is, they've been trying to cook something up and have been eager and anxious. I think that first movie in their fertile, uh, colossal imaginations suggested. Mm, something further. It would seem so. Ah, uh, yeah. And they have spent a lot of time, and I believe came up with a very beautiful uh, uh, bunch of ideas. Uh, and that's why we're doing it. So, so I'm where glad. where do we find your character, David Levinson, twenty years later? I mean, he responsible for saving the planet. Now, yes. what's he doing? We we do know that there's something called Earth Space Defense. Yes, Earth Space. De Guess who's the director of Earth Space Defense? Is it David Levinson? Maybe. <laughs> I don't want to toot my own horn. <laughs> but yes, they made me the director. Perfect. How about that? That's a big jump. That's a big career jump. I was it working is. for that cable company. Exactly. Riding the bicycle. But of course, it's, it's, it sort of makes sense too, because I was an environmentalist, wasn't I? It's true. And I cared deeply, which came from a real organic, if I may, place. I cared deeply, like my friend Ed Begley Jr. I don't want to brag <laughs> either, but about, um, about uh, the planet. and. The, the, the life forms on it, including all the, all the animals, too. Uh, and uh, I don't like anybody coming and uh, messing with it, and uh, that inspired something in me, and I found that I was able to fend them off, and uh, so it's a natural and logical and uh, job for me, and uh, I've always been an out-of-the-box thinker. Uh, which this kind of requires. Who would have thought that we'd be faced with this kind of uh, uh, priority? And um, and a science, uh, a person of science and uh, mm, deep thinking. So uh, so so I'm I'm happy to have this job. It's a very the weight of the world is on my shoulders. Of course, these twenty low these twenty years, and uh, I've hardly had. I'm, I'm obsessed with it. Really doing a, the best job I can. We don't know what the future will hold, but. It's my job to get, get, get us ready for it. And it's my thrill to now work under these circumstances even, not the best, but with a, an international, what I've always dreamed of, international cooperative. Isn't that lovely? So, so all borders are really, mm, you know, uh, uh, obsolete. Because After now we're one small little family, which is a lovely idea. After 20 years between Independence Day, it's two years, it'll be 20 years since The Lost World. Is there any chance life will find a way back to dinosaurs for you? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine. I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine. Who knows what the future holds? In the what? What? Who, who knows what the future holds? Who knows what the future holds? Well put. You read my first book. I did. Yes. 